Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for watching. Today, like I said in the last tutorial, we're going to be going and adding some threading to the top of the bottle. We're going to be adding some thickness and um, hopefully, you know, we'll see where we get to after that. Alright, so we are still here in Blender. I still have the same file. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to um, save, but when I save, let me see, I haven't seen um, you know, you can see bottle 001. I like to save incrementally. So I'm going to say bottle underscore 0002. And make sure there's a period in between that blend. And save as Blender file. The reason I like to do that, if you incrementally save, your new file is dependent upon your old file. And if that old file gets corrupted, so does your new file. If you save brand new documents each time, then if something happens or I want to go back to an older version, nothing is dependent on anything else. And so um, it's much easier to, uh, to save your files and, and not worry about things getting broken. All right, so here we are. Um, here we are in Blender. I'm still in edit mode here. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, so when I thicken this bottle up, it's going to, I'm going to add a modifier that will thicken it. One problem I'm, I'm having is this lip right here is going to cause issues with that. So to get around that, I'm going to hit Shift D and duplicate it and then enter to complete that duplication. And then M for move, and I'm going to move it to layer 3. So now I've moved this to layer 3, and if I come down here to my visible layers and tick layer 3, bam, I'm good right there. Uh, I'm going to tab into edit mode, and um, now I'm going to go to face mode, and I'm going to alt right click on these faces to select the edge loop, and then control and plus to select one ring outside of my edge loop and then X and I'm going to click faces. Alrighty. Now I'm going to go into edge loop and I'm going to right click, shift right click, hit F. Um, and I just need to do that all the way around. So I'm just right click, shift right click, F. Oops, I selected the wrong face there. Again, you go fast. Sometimes you make mistakes. Um, all right, there we go. Now that those are all selected, I'm going to alt right click on that one and then shift alt right click on those two edge loops. Hit X and um, let's see, dissolve edges because I don't really need those. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here into my modifiers panel. Let's pull this out. Um, and ooh, what, what's it called? It's called solidify. So I'm going to solidify this. And I'm going to add a lot of thickness here. You can see I can add a ton of thickness. I don't need it to be super thick. Um, let's say. 0.125. Okay. And now that that's solidified and it's, it's given thickness, um, I'm going to tab into my uh, object mode and hit apply. Now when I tab back into uh, edit mode, you can see that I have that geometry and it's selectable. But I don't want the outside of this bottle, so I'm going to go into face mode, uh, alt, click that and hit delete and faces. And now I'm going to select this, just one face, hit L. And since there's no faces that connect this out outer face to this inner face, it only selects the outside, hit X and faces. Now tab back into object mode, hit M to move layers and move that back to the top layer. And when I select that top layer, you can see now that I 
<coughs> I have a solidified mesh. There's two meshes. So I'm going to select one mesh, shift select the other. It doesn't really matter which in this case. And then hit Control J. Now if I tab back into edit mode, they're all selectable. Hit A twice to select everything. W and remove doubles. And that right there is going to make uh, our life wonderful. One thing I'm going to do now that that's done is hit Control R and I'm going to add in an edge loop here at the bottom of all of this because eventually we're going to smooth these out and when we smooth it out since these um, since these These edges are fairly small in nature. When it gets smoothed, I don't really need to worry about a bevel. That'll just be extra geometry. Okay. Oh, but I do want to add in one more edge loop here and here to kind of solidify that. Alrighty. Now, let's add in um, add in the, the ribbing on the inside. So I'm going to hit Shift A and I'm going to come here and what am I going to do? Hmm. There should be a helix. Where's the helix? Haven't done this in a while. Okay. All right. Um, so I couldn't find the helix function, and that's okay because there's other ways um, to work this problem. So I'm going to select my bottle, hit Shift D. Enter, and again, I'm just going to move it to the third. To the third um, layer, and now I'm going to select here at the bottom. Select this edge loop, X and oop, sorry, X and faces, and then here at the top, select this edge loop, X and faces. Select this and hit L, X and faces. Select this part. L, X, and faces. So now I'm just left with what would be the top of my object. And I'm going to X and dissolve edges. Okay? So now I'm going to hit 1 and 5. Uh, I'm going to hit Control and the up arrow. That's going to give me a full window view of this um, and I'm going to hit the K button and I'm going to actually cut my helix of course you want it it goes around the, the our bottle uh, kind of has this Uh, go around about once and as you can see there are some major issues once I've done all the cutting I'm gonna just hit the enter button and then let's go into vertex mode and I'm just gonna pull these down so that it looks more like it's supposed to Otherwise, how will the cap go onto the bottle? So 
Sorry, this takes. This is where modeling gets a little tedious. Okay. And. Alright. So that's good enough. Um, let's go to edge mode. Let's alt click on that alt right click and let's hit S and Z and let's scale it just a little bit in the Z axis. That'll smooth it out as well as it'll um, <coughs> it will yeah it, it just helps. Um, <laughs> okay now let's go through and what I want to do is I want to select all of these bottom faces until here until they overlap and hit X and faces and now um, actually I can select these two bottom faces as well X and faces I'm trying to think I'm gonna try and use this modifier here modifier skin modifier and as you can see kind of makes things look crazy Uh, let's go to here, S select this, and go mark root, select everything, hit control A, and, all right, oh, this is how we do it, I'm sorry, we select these, hit X and vertices. And we just delete these top vertices. And that way we are only left with the vertices we need. And then we select this edge. And we go uh, edge. We select this one, edge, and this one, edge. And there we go. We are left with a helix tab back into object mode and move that back to the top layer. Um, tab into edit mode, select everything. And then hit control and A again and increase the size to about there. Now let's add a modifier subdivision surface and you can see that we have this helix, and then if we hit T, and with everything selected, oh wait, we have to tab into um, object mode, apply the skin modifier, and now we can smooth everything out. And you can also see it doesn't go through our bottle. Okay. Oh man, that took our whole time to figure that one out. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, but now we have a nice looking helix around our bottle. Next, um, well, while we're here, let's just go ahead and grab our cap and move that to this layer. I noticed that, you know, on these caps, this part of the cap at the bottom is the part that holds it together, it's the seal. So let's go ahead and select that, hit P and separate selection. And then for our cap here, let's move that out of the way. Um, let's take uh, one, let's take our helix and hit G and Z and move it up in the Z axis. And then let's grab the edge, top edge loop and move that down just a hair. And now we can add a solidify modifier just like we've done before. And we can just push that in to about there and hit control R and just add in some edge loops too. All right. 
Last but not least, let's just add a subdivision surface to this. And that already has a subdivision surface. This one, subdivision surface. You can see here at the top of the bottle we're having some issues. So control R, just pull that up. Add in those edge loops to hold the form. Oops, wrong face. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so there. Oh, I'm sorry, we forgot the we forgot the cap. Let's go ahead and just grab the cap, add a solidify modifier to it, and again, let's make that point one two five, um, and then add a subdivision surface modifier to it when we tab into edit mode, and then add in just a few edge loops right here to tighten those up and move that over. All right, you guys, I think we basically have a finished bottle. Um, the only other thing, so I keep thinking of new things that we could add, it's just exciting. Let's just shift D and move that over to the layer. And this is just gonna be for the label. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, delete the subsurf modifier and we're gonna select this edge ring X and delete the faces. Select up here and hit L. That selects the inside of the bottle, X and delete faces. Um, and then also down here, we're going to select this edge ring and faces and L, delete the faces. Okay, now that we have this, we can hit Control, oh, Control S, yeah, we can save. Um, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna hit Control E, and I'm gonna say region vertex normals. And I'm just gonna pull this out, that's too much. I'm gonna make it negative 0 0.01. Mm, negative 0.25, better. Okay, and now control shift I, sorry, control I, yes. Uh, selects the inverse of what was selected and hit X and faces. And now we can add that subdivision surface modifier back on and move that back over. And now we have a label, we have a bottle, and actually this is part of the bottle, so I'm just gonna grab that and this. Oh, it's a face ring. And I'm gonna pull those down into that there, okay. So I'm gonna select this. No, that's its own piece. Okay. okay. Yeah. Save. So there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to go ahead and um, UV map. We're going to create some textures and things like that. So I really appreciate uh, you guys watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.